Four pair of Summer Olympic Games have officially come to a close. During the closing ceremony Sunday night, the torch passed to Los Angeles, host of the 2028 Games in Paris. The U.S. topped the overall medal count with 126 to China's 91, but in gold medals, the two rivals tied with 40 apiece. And here with more on the Paris Games and how they will be remembered is Doug Eldridge, sports agent and nationally recognized public relations advisor. Doug, good to have you back on. Uh, first off, let's talk about the medal count. As mentioned, Team USA dominated, but there seems to be one medal still in question. Tell us about the situation for gymnast Jordan Childs and her bronze. Right, so you have to remember, first of all, Gymnastics in the summer and figure skating in the Winter Olympics are not based on the time when you touch the wall like swimming or track or points at the buzzer like basketball. Instead, it's determined by a panel of judges. In this case, Jordan was competing in the floor routine and she was in fifth place. Now, Team USA felt as though there was an error in the judges scoring and so they filed a protest. The judges agreed. They awarded Childs an additional one-tenth of a point. Now, that addition moved her from fifth place to third. In so doing, it dislodged a Romanian athlete who thought she'd secured bronze. Now, Romania petitioned to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, which you can think of as almost the Supreme Court for international sports litigation. It's the highest court in the land. CAS agreed with Romania, kicked it down to international gymnastics, who pushed it to the IOC. Now, what's important to understand is that Romania did not protest the quality or integrity of child's routine. Instead, they claimed that Team USA issued their protest four seconds outside of the permissible window. The IOC, aligned with the with Court of Arbitration for Sport, said that the medal should be reassigned, and nearly a week later said that Childs should return the medal. Now, subsequent to that, Team USA has said that they actually have time-stamped a video which indicates that the protest was within the permissible window and Childs should not have to surrender the medal. The problem, Tracy, is that part of the metaphor, but both these athletes are literally stuck in athletic purgatory. The, the, the distinction between upper and lower, do I get a medal, do I not? It's an absolute mess for Paris. Mm. And we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, also, want to talk about this. I mean, as we know, Doug, the Olympics got off to a, a dubious start uh, with a controversial opening ceremony that caused an uproar among Christians. But there were also some incredible displays of Christian faith by a number of the athletes. Let's talk about that. And what stood out the most to you? First of all, of course, the, the, the opening ceremony garnered global pushback and, and for all the reasons that, that we've discussed previously, right? That being said, you know, this Olympics saw athletic, I've done this a long time, both on the, the agency side, the PR side, this Olympics saw a level of performance that I don't think I've ever seen. In, in well over 20 years of doing this, it was really remarkable. You're talking about 125 Olympic records, 32 world records, and done in absolute class and extravagance. Obviously, Paris is one of the most screensaver uh, type backdrops that you could ever have at an Olympic Games, but the, the, the quality and the integrity and the capability of these athletes, especially Team USA, was on full display for the world to see. Yeah, and, and let's talk about those athletes uh, who re were really giving glory to God for their wins. Yeah, well, I mean, look, it, the, the first that, that comes to mind is Sydney, track and field athlete. I mean, she she absolutely shattered 400 meter uh, hurdles world record, her own record, by the way, uh, anchored a blistering four by four relay leg to bring home another gold for Team USA. But the loudest talking, Tracy, wasn't by her performance. It was by her persistence of the faith. And in so many ways, I feel like that's emblematic of Team USA, irrespective of the controversy as a backdrop and, and, and the somewhat toward thematic undertones throughout the games, Team USA athletes were variable. You had Steph Curry after the hard fought Olympic gold that some would say shouldn't have been that close, saying, God is good. You have Katie Ledecky talking about her resolute, you know, Catholic faith and commitment to Catholicism. These are just a few off, off the top of mind. Team USA athletes were front and center, not only in their performance, but in their persistence of faith. And I think that's something for all of us to point to and cheer for. Absolutely. So inspirational indeed. Almost out of time, Doug, but um, your final thoughts when it comes to the 2024 Olympics. You know, I, I think it's going to be one that, that's marked by both controversy and character. Right, the controversy speaks for itself. The, the IOC said that half the half the world, from a population standpoint, tuned in to watch these games at some point. You know, I think there was 12 billion social media impressions. 
But I think what it really did was lay the groundwork for LA to pick up the torch, literally and figuratively. But also these athletes were so brave in their proclamations of faith. I think it, in so doing, it inspired and hopefully encouraged other athletes not to worry about censorship or about the post-race interview being edited like we've seen in NFL games, but to be bold and proud and believe in their faith because an army of, of, of 330 million Americans are following them, not just only in, in their performance, but in their persistence of faith. And to me, that's one of the key takeaways from these games. Yeah, well said, my friend. Thank you so much for coming on. Always appreciate it. Thank you for having me.